Hey everybody, my name is Miranda Luna, and I am thrilled to be showing you AI BI today. So let's start with the BI side of the house. You know, dashboards and reports aren't going anywhere. And you know, in AI BI dashboards, we wanna make sure you have all those capabilities you need to generate and share robust reports. So let's go ahead and make a new chart. You know, let's say maybe pipeline by region. Go ahead and accept that. And of course, you know, we have the option to use natural language. We have the option to, do some uh, point and click configuration. You know, and if you're a SQL Power user who wants to move beyond point and click, you can you know, break glass and go directly to the SQL. Now it looks like there's a couple things going on here, so why don't we go to the inline assistant, the same one Pearl showed us earlier. And let's say, you know, add comments to explain this query. You know, this query has a pretty specific definition of pipeline. Let me go ahead and accept this. And it also, um, seems to be filtering out some, you know, some ro rows that have null in the forecast category column. Now, AI is BI was able to pick this up on, you know, this unique logic because it learned it from other assets in the plat in the this specific Databricks instance, you know, notebooks, pipelines, um, and it's able to apply that here. Now, the intelligence layer of AI BI is obviously very exciting, but you know, it's important to make sure we have all the capabilities we know and love. So we can go ahead and publish. Course, we draft publish. When we have this published version of the dashboard, we can share that to other users in our organization. Um, certainly, they do not have to be members of the workspace. Of course, we can embed these dashboards. You know, anywhere in iframe is welcome. Confluence, SharePoint, uh, etc. If we want to dig into the lineage to kind of know where this data came from and if we can trust it, you know, we can kind of get a nice little highlight of what go what's kind of traced back to where. Um, and if we want to cross filter, you know, of course we can do that to kind of more point and click interact with our data. But, you know, the nice thing is the demo is not ending here anymore, right? So we talked about AI BI having kind of two sides to the coin. You know, we've looked at kind of uh, the dashboarding BI side, but let's go ahead and launch Genie. Great. So Genie is that AI side of the coin. And let's go ahead and start with Ken's favorite question, right? How's my pipeline? Awesome. Little view by regional. And we have, again, that same definition we're used to now. But what if we want to slice and dice differently, right? Just in the Americas and by segment. Awesome. We're able to kind of get a little bit of a breakdown there. Of course, if we want to see it as a pie chart, we can. Um, and if we go back and actually take a look at, you know, some of the SQL under the hood here, right, you know, we can see that that same kind of logic that we were able to benefit from the dashboard is also kind of uh, flowing through here. Right? Because this exists in pipelines, because it exists in notebooks, like we know that this is, AIBI knows that this is the definition for pipeline. AIBI knows that it should be filtering out these, these rows. Great. Um, but again, of course, what makes Genie such a powerful complement to the dashboard is that we can go beyond just what was kind of in that pre-baked pre view. So we can ask, you know, who created the most pipeline? Great, Lauren, very active, love to see it. But you know, how does Lauren compare to the average? So how does that compare to our average rep? Great, so we can see you know, how Lauren is doing versus the average. Um, but remember, Ken also talked to us about you know, incomplete semantics, right? So we looked at messy data, we looked at unique business rules, but Messy semantics, let's really challenge you and ask it something totally new. Something that doesn't exist in the dashboard of the data model. How about which customers churned in America? Okay, that's great. Genie's not able to answer that and is not gonna hallucinate an answer. We'd love to see that. Um, it doesn't know the concept of churn, but you know, unlike in some conventional tools where you'd have to track down someone with permission to edit a YAML file, you know, here we can just keep going. We can tell Genie what churn means. So churn is when we lose an op and don't win another after. Great, so now we get a nice list of uh, some customers that have been churning. And what we can actually do is save this as an instruction. So not only were we able to unblock ourselves as we were going through asking questions and, you know, Genie didn't understand a certain um, a certain topic or a certain concept. Uh, but now by saving these instructions, you know, let's say if a colleague of ours comes, asks a similar question, 
they're going to just be able to get an answer thanks to you know my our adding kind of some context there ahead of time so who churned last quarter in europe right like maybe i came in here open a new session i'm in europe and i want to know who churned there Awesome. So again, my, my work and my contribution to Jeannie's semantic understanding has now helped my colleague in Europe. But, you know, the nice thing here is that now, you know, not just is the rest of the team benefiting, not only was I on block, two very good things. Um, the idea of churn is also now something Jeannie really, truly, deeply understands. So let's ask it another question. What was our churn rate last quarter by region? Awesome, so now we're able to kind of get a view of not just churn customers by region, total customers and the churn rate. Um, we can also, if we wanna just get a nice little visual there, we can. So today, we've seen how AI BI provides really an army of AI agents behind the scenes and part of a compound AI system that facilitates you know, accurate and ongoing dialogues with your data. And we saw how we could navigate those three challenges Ken outlined with traditional BI just bolted on LLMs, right? We were able to wade through some messy data. We saw our business rules that were unique to us applied cons consistently. And we were able to kind of work past a uh, situation where there were incomplete semantics. So that's AI BI in a nutshell. And let me tell you what, we cannot wait to see what you do with it.